Now this next part, then we've got that R is a point on the y-axis. It's on the positive stretch of the y-axis. So maybe it's up here. Who knows? Let's just put it there for the time being. And we're also told that angle P to R back to Q is 90 degrees. Well, clearly in my diagram it doesn't look like 90 degrees. So where is R? Well, this question revolves around a simple geometric fact. And that is that if you've got a diameter of a circle, and we already know that the diameter of the circle is PQ, then the angle subtended at the center from the diameter would be 180 degrees. And if you draw any line from the diameter out to the circumference and back down to the other end of the diameter, this angle will always be half the angle at the center. So in other words, it will be 90 degrees. So that means that R must be not up here on the y-axis, but it must be this point here, all right, on the circumference of the circle. So that if I join from here to there and back down again, then this angle in here is 90 degrees. So what we don't want is all of this stuff out here. So we'll just rub that out. We'll take it out and do it fairly carefully. And uh, there you go. We've got basically the diagram. R is a point on the circumference then and it subtends an angle of 90 degrees from this diameter. Now that we know that R lies on the circle, we already know it's one of its coordinates. We know that the x-coordinate is 0. We're just wanting to find out what the y-coordinate would be. So because it lies on the circle, it must satisfy this equation. So in other words, all we need to say is when x equals 0 and substitute it into there. So if we do that, we're going to get 0 plus y squared. So we've got y squared. This goes out, we're left with 4y, and then equals 12. So we clearly got a quadratic equation, and like all quadratic equations, we need to rearrange them just to make them ready for factorizing. So we'll just bring the 12 across by subtracting 12 from both sides. Factorize it in the usual way. We're going to have a y here, a y here, and then it's going to be a 6 and a 2, and we need plus 6y here and minus 2y here to give the 4y. So therefore, it means that y plus 6 equals 0, or the other factor, y minus 2 equals 0. If y plus 6 equals 0, that's going to lead to y equaling minus 6, and in this case, if y minus 2 equals 0, y will equal 2. Now for r we can see that y has to be a positive value so we can say that since y has to be greater than 0 we can see now that therefore y equals the 2 and so therefore the coordinates of r must be naught 2. Okay well hope you're able to follow that and that now brings us to the end of this question.